Okay, right, thank you everybody for joining me. This is Chris, 2E0UKH, and um, first of all, um, did anyone watch the launch tonight? It was pretty cool, wasn't it? I think the whole world was watching it. Mr. Eddie Essex is in the house. Jimbo. He's on about making a beam. Well, got, he's got a beam, but it's only made of bits of wood and copper. So uh, we're talking about the SpaceX launch. And, um, yeah, Jimbo saying they've gone missing. Just too many connections, too many people hogging the connection like me. But um, there is actually going to be, if anyone's in the UK, you can actually see it tonight if you're lucky. Mr. Steam Rainboy. Great launch. KF6 FES. Yes, thank you. Van Lifer. Regis. Evening all. Yeah, evening Regis. Uh, thanks for joining us. So did anyone watch the uh, launch? I certainly did. Yeah, 1017 Jimbo. It's coming above the horizon. So, um, you know, this is not rocket science. Well, it is actually because it's the SpaceX rocket. But um, it's not difficult to do. You know, I thought of that joke earlier. You know, it wasn't bad, was it? Um, it's not difficult to do. You know, and Jimbo's already told you how to do it. You know, it's no, it's not difficult. Megahertz UHF, yeah, he's watched it. Um, Chris Brown, the video during the launch was fantastic. It was Paul Howard, evening Chris, great launch video. Yeah, I enjoyed it very much. And um, all evening I've been trying to work out how to truck it. But of course you can't truck it when it's not in the air. So in that you know, couple of hours since it's gone up, I've, uh, I've managed to get a track on it and I've got it on the screen. And it's coming and it's going and it's not perfect. But it's good enough to show you. So, um, you know, I pay for a lot of, of apps on iPhone on iPhone and Android and I can track satellites and objects using that and um, I'm just waiting for the databases to be updated but if anyone joined here so that they could find out how you track it you know join the stream I'll show you that straight away because I know that's what one people want to know megahertz yes lack of tracking yeah you know, I was doing all my research, and uh, look, you know, I mean, I know what I'm doing with the space station, so it should be the same. You just download another, uh, update the files, get a new file for the uh, the the SpaceX one. Anyway, anyone new watching, put your name, put your call sign in the comments. Um, give this video a thumbs up. That's the biggest thing you can do to help. Other people support me in other ways behind the scenes. Highly appreciate that. And Mr. Andy Cowley is saying hi to me and Jimbo. So I'm going to see. I've got a map. I've got a map in the bottom right, and the trajectory. Temporary offline. What's up, Chris? Excellent idea for a video. Yeah, very topical. You know, everyone wants now to track it. Thank you, uh, Jimbo, saying hello. Temporary offline. KM9G. In the US, of course. And G7 MBK, that's uh, megahertz. So I'm uh, sharing with you a website. You know, I'm, I mean, Jimbo's given it away. That's all we're doing to start with. Let me just share my desktop with you. So I'm just going to share just my desktop so you can see all the mess I've got on here. M7 AHE here. Yeah, high van life, Regis. So this is my desktop and I'm lucky I managed to get a connection. So this is the website. Someone put it in the description. Jimbo, Fred Romeo, one of the moderators, Andy Cowley, put it in the uh, in the comments. It's called ny sorry n2yo.com. n2yo.com. Good afternoon, uh, Raymond is saying, in California. 
Northwest Ham Shack is in my Ham Shack tonight. Hi Chris, always something new and interesting with you. Thank you. Well, I'm trying. So, Jimbo's kindly put the uh, the URL in the comments, and um, I'm lucky. I'm logged in. I found a connection, but this is this is the trouble you lot will have. I've just opened up a new tab. And I'm going to search for N2 N2YO and it comes up with the first one which is NY20.com real-time satellite tracking so I'm going to click on that and you'll this site cannot be re reached and that is because there's too many there's too many people trying to do the same thing obviously I'm taking thousands over and that's not helping matters but I'm going to help you guys out a little bit because when you go to N2YO you get this but if you were lucky and you got in um, it gives you an you know there's other hyperlinks off the main page and I I have got the real link here this is the link which I'm copying and pasting I'll put it in the uh, comments this link takes you to SpaceX, You're not the home page. Most people can't even get in the home page. So if that doesn't work for you, the page that Jimbo put in the comments, try this one. So I've just copied it and I'm going up to the YouTube comments and I am pasting it in. And this is a direct link to SpaceX. They call it Crew Dragon. Crew Dragon. There, there is a not to be confused with Crew Dragon demo. There's been one I've been up there for a while with a very similar name. So I'm just pasting that in the comments, and this will help you uh, guys out a lot because just popped it in the comments now. That will take you directly to the section for the SpaceX launch. You know the vehicle, the spacecraft. So I'm going. So I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to go back to my uh, desktop so you guys can see it. Yeah, I'm already on there. And yeah, ISS detector does it as well, but it's not been updated. I've got. I paid for it, and it's not. It's not showing this new SpaceX yet so that link I put in the comments I'm gonna do what you guys are doing I'm putting it in there I'll press enter and you've got to be patient and refresh the page yeah there's too many you know when companies receive threats you know of uh, blackmail or something you know that have big websites you know big websites that have gambling websites say the national lottery or sorry the national the grand national or something they get thousands of computers around the world on a botnet to all access the same web page at the same time and it causes this it's a denial of service attack a DOS attack and that's exactly what happens when too many people are trying to access it. So that link, that is a working link, and I can't. I'm trying. I can't get on there. There's too many people around the world doing it. But luckily, I've got a link, and when you get it working, when you get it working, it's. Um, it's like this and you get a nice map now I don't know if you can see here there's a red that hasn't moved when it's working like I said at the start it comes and it goes and when it's working this marker moves this marker moves where the location of the um, SpaceX Crew Dragon is 
so one. So if my link goes off the page, uh, moderators, copy and paste it back in near the bottom every now and again, because that's the crucial link. Now at 10.17 tonight, 10.17 tonight in the UK, it is going over this path here. Can you see the yellow line at the bottom? Not the top one. The top one was earlier when it wasn't when it wasn't visible. It's going. I think it's going over this area. Um, still cannot be reached, Paul. I'm not surprised. You know, the whole world's watching it. Tomorrow, people will be forgotten about it, and there'll be just these super geeks trying to do it like us lot. Right. So I'm just going to minimise uh, that, make it smaller, and I found a good article. I found a good article on this. Yeah, Heavens Above's good, but that's also down because they're updating it. I tried that as well. So, anyone new watching the stream, put your call sign in the comments. Let me know you're watching. Give it a thumbs up. You know, you know, I was going to do a live commentary, but I don't really know what I'm talking about. So I thought I'd let you listen to the proper one instead of me talking over it always amazes me when people do that on like the Apple keynotes and things their own version so it was cancelled yesterday due, due to bad weather Ken is saying I deal with comms BT Virgin Network they drop you out Mr Grant Saville M7GSX here hello Frostbite UK hi there are you tried the link yet, Fred Romeo? Have you managed to get the... Has anyone managed to get the link working? Um, right, Grant is saying Stellarium, Stella, Stellarium, or whatever it's called, on mobile works. Yeah, blocked, okay. When you're saying it works, do you mean you've actually seen SpaceX on there? The new one. The Crew Dragon. Not the old one, which has been up for a few years. Just looking for Grant to comment. So this is where this is where it's going to pass by in the UK. You know, it's not going over the UK. Yeah, this look, um, frostbite. This is where it is. Look, it's going to come across here at ten seventeen. Heavens Above app has it, yes, but is it working? Is it, has anyone managed to get Heavens Above working? So at 10.17, it's coming across here. It says here 10.15, but that's good enough. So, uh, what's the time? Alexa, what's the time? 10.10 10 10 p.m. Alexa, volume 7. Alexa, remind me at 10.14... What's the reminder for? SpaceX. Okay, I'll remind you at 10.14 p.m. Okay, it's at 10.14 p.m. I'm going to have a look out the window. And uh, I can take this camera with me that you're watching me on. How cool is that? So uh, anyone new watching the stream, put your call sign in this crazy stream in the comments. Give it a thumbs up. And um, always nice to hear of new people in the comments. So just looking at the comment. Yes, well, it's not that the ISS path is the same as the Dragon. The Dragon pass is the same path is the same as the ISS because they're going to dock. The Dragon, the Crew Dragon, is going to put their foot down and catch up with it and dock with the ISS. Mr. Bob Valder. GW4XCA, thank you for joining us in the house tonight. So Frostbite, yes, 10.17. Start at 10.15. Now, looking at the pass, you know, it's just on the verge. The round bit um, shows the footprint 
the footprint of sight so it's just on the verge of footprint so it's not going to be a bright sighting but it's worth a try we've got nothing else to do uh, ISS should be visible just above the horizon to the west UK right now okay so I'm going to take this off the screen but just remember 10 10 15 10 17 in the UK so it's going to come across here and going back to my original information on the screen you can see the next you know we're not all in the UK obviously it's going directly overhead Paris Austria Hungary Bulgaria Turkey Syria Saudi Arabia and that's the end of that one so at 10 14 10 15 I'm gonna have a look start looking out I see it now in Swansea okay well you've sold me I'm going I'm gonna have a look at the window now I'm not sure how the microphone's gonna work but I'm just gonna I'll take my camera just in case Alexa stop right so I'm going to take the camera and look out the window and I don't expect to see it but it'd be good if I could show it live wouldn't it so I'm not sure if you'll hear me any of I'll try not to talk too much because I don't think you'll hear me but let's just have a look out the window So I'm just going to look out the window. Are you hearing my audio, oh guys? Okay, guys, just a quick yes in the comments. So, um, These are my mount mounts up on the ledge. One monitor, mate, Fred. Phew. Right. 
Well, that worked pretty well. I think I saw it. Did anyone see it on the screen? Did anyone see it online? Jimbo, you saw it. I mean, Jimbo's in the same town as me, I think. Did anyone see it on my... Did it come out okay on my camera? I thought... I thought I saw it. No, Jimbo, I just saw it live. Mr. Bartek is in the house. How's it going, man? Yeah, doing okay. Paul Cochran, just seen it clear. My micro's face in the wrong way. Sorry about that. Bartek is saying hello. Paul Cochran. I just seen it clearly. Jimbo, sorry, Chris. Just reading the comments, Fred Romeo. You need more donations to buy more monitors. I certainly do. But did you guys see my setup? You know, I'm doing it on iPads. I've got some old grotty iPads that are not much good for anything else. And I managed to get it working. You know, and it works really well. Uh, blimey, we've got 50 people watching. Look at the, look how many people are watching, Mr. Fred Romeo. It's flipping amazing. Yeah, Paul Cochran, he's saying hi, Dad. Who's your dad? <laughs> I don't know, he's calling his dad. Perhaps his dad's watching as well, that's fine. Max, morning from New Zealand. Thank you for joining us. So, uh, I'm really, I'm going to try and get a better, so you guys in other countries can report where you're seeing it. I'm going to get on the screen. Could someone, could one of the moderators put in the comments um, the live link, the exact place where the space station is, not a link to N2YO, but... Oh, your dad's tuning in live from Jamaica. Flipping it. He listened to that, Fred Romeo. That's brilliant. Someone's told his dad who's in Jamaica to watch it. Right, so... I'm going to try and get a better... refreshed feed, which shows the location of the... Uh, the spaceship. Yeah. Hi, back, and he's watching you. Has Paul Cochran's dad commented yet? Paul's Paul Cochran's dad in Jamaica. Are you watching? Just just say hello to Paul. You know, just say just put a quick hello in. Right, so I'm just pasting in the new URL, and um, I'm got that page as usual. Could some, one of the moderators paste a link to the working uh, section of the N2YO website? Now, n2yo.com, and it's uh, it's okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm just going to copy. No, well, it'll be going round every hour and a half for the next 120 days, so we're just trying to see it on day one. Or, but did anyone see it on my camera when I showed it on the camera? Yeah, it does work, but the link, you know, the link's always the same. They're not going to change the. They're not going to go in and change the HTML every five minutes, but. It's because too many people are watching. So luckily I connected beforehand. That's okay, Jimbo. That's okay, Jimbo. You know, we're gonna better watch this every every few days. I only saw ISS, not Dragon. Anyway, let's see if I've had any more luck. NASA has shut down websites. Yeah, quite possibly. Probably shut it down, but something dodgy went past that they didn't want everyone to know about. Right, let's just put the uh, desktop on, and I'll show you all my links to the uh, SpaceX. We've got that one. 
because I had a few I did a few backups I've got that one you know I just got in in time got that one and that one has that got it done see this is the path it will be following so about now I, I should have I should imagine it's just gone over Africa and um, might be visible in Australia at some time but when it's working you get on this trajectory you get a little spacecraft appear and you, and you can follow it you know try again tomorrow and I, th I think it will be fine so I've got how many connections did I get I've got three actually so I'm just going to try refreshing the feed but um, and I tried different browsers yet yeah. You know, I don't know why anyone can't get on. It's not as if I've been hogging it with all these lot. Peter Cochran. Anyone near Jamaica tonight? Hi, Peter Cochran. That's, that's Paul Cochran's dad, isn't it? Say hello to Paul. He's in here with you. He, he told me you'd come in. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to take Grant's advice. So, Stellarium, is that, that's on Android, is it? So, I'm talking to, uh, yeah, Pete, Peter Cochran. Yeah, your son's in here, Paul. He told us you were coming. That's great. You and your son are here. So, I'm going to look for, I'm, I'm looking for Grant. Yes, you can get it on Windows, too. Okay. Okay, well, we'll, uh, I'll get rid of Edge because I always prefer Chrome. I'll bring up a new tab and I'm going to copy it from Paul Spelling because I can't spell that. Uh, not Paul, uh, Grant. Oh, there's so many messages, I can't see your message. Um, there it is. Stella, I know how to spell that. That's my, one of my favourite lagers. Stella, I um. So I'm on a Windows PC here. St Stellarium. So at the top, Windows. I'm on the Windows 64 bit. Are you doing this, Fred? This looks pretty cool, actually. I've got Orbitron. But it's not been updated yet. So I've downloaded it, and um, you can see all the dodgy stuff I've been downloading here. My monitor's just gone off, one of, one of them. Put that back on. So I've downloaded Stel Stellarium. And it's just it's just waiting to uh, completely download. Peter Cochran, that's too strong. Appleton for me. Alice, he's. They're saying all right. Anyway, I've got Stellarium, so I'll install that. Double click on it, say yes to everything. Jimbo Kettering Internet is the finest in the world. It is. It's not too bad, actually. At times. Two hundred and fifty four megabytes is thinking about summit. So 
So I'm going to install it. I think I'll choose English. I accept. Next. Yes. I'm just saying yes to everything. You guys can do the same as me. I shall put the comment, uh, the comment, the link in the comments. Look, there you go. If anyone's on Windows, you can try that. So I've run the software, and it should have put a, de a shortcut on my desktop somewhere. It's still installing. So yeah, I've got a, a shortcut on my desktop. Are you watching this, Fred Romeo? This is pretty cool stuff. So I'm looking in the sky. And obviously I'm only, I'm only seeing planets at the moment. If I go up to the top right, there's settings, general. Grant, if you could tell me what we, we what we're supposed to be doing here, I'll, I'll uh, you know, make things a lot quicker. Eyepieces, lenses, sensors. Hover down on the bottom bar and it gives you options. Okay. Got you. Okay, direct me from here, but this is very helpful for everyone else. Which one do I want next? Earth. Planets. Satellite hints. I need some hints. Which one am I clicking on, Grant? Oh, there's more on the left. Sky and viewing option windows. Dragon Tracker. What is that Dragon Tracker? Is that Android or Windows? Or are you talking about this uh, Stellarium? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it sussed. Get it sussed. Hi, Andreas. Thank you for watching. We've got quite a lot of people watching. Blind me. Works different on Windows. Well, let look. I can, I'll put the Android one on. I'll put the. I don't. This is awkward. I'm going to put the Android one on. And I'm going to close Stellarium. Try it another day. And I'll put the Android version on. The link, the link. Link above, thank you. Don't see a link. I don't see a link. Going up. Anyway. Is is Dragon Tracker Windows or Android? That's all I need to know. I don't see any links coming up. Someone's posting links, but I don't. 
I don't see any. I'm not. You know, if I see anyone posting anything, I will allow it. Anyway, it doesn't appear to be on uh, on Windows. Type it up. Yeah, type it up. I'm going to look on Android. So I'm just bringing up Android. This is my Android phone on the screen. Right, so how cool is this? I can show my Android on the screen. I'm going to go to the Play Store and look for Dragon Tracker. Copy it. There's, there's nothing coming up to copy. I don't see. Don't see any. It's not allowing links. But is it on Android or Windows? Because that would be very helpful to know. That would really narrow it down. Right. So I'm going to go to. I'm in the Play Store. You, I do trust you, but I don't. I don't see the option to trust you. It's just not allowing links. So that's what I'm saying. Windows and it's called Dragon Tracker because I've got Dragon Tracker in the search and uh, nothing's coming up look but we're gonna crack this you know we all want to know how to do it Dragon Tracker. There's no such thing on here. Dragon Tracker Part 1. That's how to train your dragon. Yeah, it doesn't allow links. Anyway, this, this is where... This is one of the uh, pages I found. N2YO. But I'm determined to get one of these Dragon Trackers or the other ones working. But... Send me an email, 20UKH at gmail.com with a link please. I know it's a bit awkward and I'll uh, I'll be able to show everyone because it's not allowing it in the uh, in YouTube. It's not a case of me not allowing it, it's not showing it. So I don't have Twitter. Anyway, that's disappointing, but everyone is trying to do it. Yeah, we allow everything on here. We can't see the link. But like I've said, if you could email me. Go on Twitter and type in. I don't have Twitter. don't have Twitter, my friend. Right, so Grant, let, let's get this Android version figured out. So you're using Stellarium on Android, is that correct? I'm just going to put Stellarium into Android. You know, I've got it working on PC, but because it's so busy, it's not showing. Fred Romeo saying it's back working now. N2YO. He's right. The man knows what he's... There we go. N2YO. So it's now showing live where the, uh, where the SpaceX is. N2YO. Follow Fred's link. Fred Romeo. He's reposting my link from earlier. And... That is fantastic. Let's have it on a larger map. So is anyone watching from Australia? Is anyone watching from Australia? Because it will be coming over Australia soon. So that's brilliant, Fred. Thank you for posting that link. Well, I mean, it's the same link, but letting us know it eventually works. So 
so can everyone see the map okay can you see there's the uh, the dragon crew dragon So if anyone's listening in Madagascar There is nothing above. It's not it won't allow links. This is what I'm saying game in addition. But uh, we've we've figured it out now, so I appreciate you uh, trying to help, but it's not showing links, so I just cannot display them. But um I highly appreciate you trying to help out. We, you know, we've got the location of it now and uh, things are looking pretty good so if everyone follows the link that Red Ro uh, Fred Romeo posted so anyone watching in Madagascar Anyway, well, this was just a quick video just to get you started on tracking it. Robert is saying, install Ari and press two, F2 plugins, then find satellites. Okay, that's good info. Right, install Ari. Install Ari is on Windows, that's great. You know, that's exactly what we need, some baby steps to get it working. On Instarium, press F2. And in Plugins, on the left, press Find Satellites. See Satellites. Yeah, baby steps on DMR. Right, satellites. I don't see find satellites, so well, that would be... If you could just direct me where find satellites is. is. F2, plugins. And on the left, find press find satellites. Okay, so Jimbo's put another link in, which will do uh, ISS, and... Yeah, we can't see your screen, that's okay, yeah, you're right. Don't know how that happened. So I'm just bringing up the screen, I don't know how that happened. It's because I've got hotkeys set up. So I'm just closing Stellarium and I can now show you the desktop. Apologies about that. It's because I pressed F2. Anyway, I can't do that because I've got hotkeys set up that bring up scenes. Mr. True Hunter's on board. He's saying who? Ho is on frequency. We've got half of uh, half the world on it. Saw it ten minutes ago. Anyway, this stream is not going to be very long. This was just a a heads up how I managed to track it. And that is the link. That is the link for the dragon. The crew dragon. I'll just copy it and put it in the comments again. And, uh, you know, when things settle down, Right, you can press configuration on the left hand side of Stellarium. Anyway, I'm going to experiment with this and um, I'll wind the screen down, but I'll, I'll leave it on the screen so you can see me messing about with it. So I'll leave the current, the current setup there. 
and I'm going to go back to Stellarium and uh, Grant is saying you can press the configuration window on the left hand side instead of pressing F2 easier on Android So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm just experimenting. You can carry on watching if you want. Plugins. And there's a section to find satellites. That's the bit I was stuck with. I'm looking for Dragon Crew. Let's see Dragon Crew. more people checking in they are well that is wonderful I mean you know the stream is over we were just we were just showing how to get um, how to track the crew dragon and for anyone that's just joined I'm just going to control alt and delete come out of this uh, Stellarium I, need, I really need to work on that you know, anyone interested to know where the uh, where the dragon where the dragon is at the moment? Use update now. Okay, thank you, Robert. I will do. You know, I've got it on the screen. The stream is coming to an end. Thank you for all the help in setting it up. Fourteen in the last five minutes. I mean, if a lot of us can't get on here you know on the site I'll leave this up shall I shall I leave this up so you can see where it is you know we got you know I'm ending the stream but I'll, I'll leave it up on the screen so you guys can still see it and um, yeah Fred we've got loads of people watching you're right Anyway, I'm just going to go for a break and I'll leave this on the screen and you can enjoy uh, figuring all this out, seeing where it is in your country. It's just approaching Australia next. It's informative, that's it. You know, we can't get on the website, so I might leave it on for a while, you know, for people to see. Right, back in a minute. I'm just filling my cigarette up.
Right, so I'm just coming back. You know, the stream's over, but I'm just I'm just leaving it on. Because there's a lot of people can't connect and would like to know where it is. I'll leave it on for half an hour, I don't mind. Mr. Jim Gaffney, thank you for putting it on. Well, you're welcome. You're a huge supporter of the channel, and so are a lot of people. And um, Mr. Brian McKay, he's in the house. He texts me as soon as the uh, the SpaceX rocket went up. Did you see it? He, he knows this stuff. So, uh, I'm tracking it on N2, n2yo.com. If you follow Jimbo's link, you can follow the ISS and the uh, Dragon. But, uh, yeah, it is still moving. I wonder what happens when it reaches the end of this yellow line. Mr. Fred Ramey, I have to go. 7-3, thank you for joining us as usual. I mean, do you want me to leave this stream on, or... Do you guys want me to leave this stream on so you can see where it is? Ah, pal, thank you. Loving your explanation. You know, I found one way of getting it going. Most people, you know, you go to the uh, N2YO website and it's down because there's thousands of people trying to connect. You know, they're all watching digital analog ham and it's crashing their servers. But um, when you go into the main site, it gives you a link to all the individual objects in space and you can track them individually. And... Um, You know, that's what we're doing. We're on an individual link. You know, my particular link. I'll put that in the comments. Keep it up to date. So is anyone watching in Australia? Melbourne? True hunters there, I am okay. So anyone watching in Australia will see it fairly soon, possibly. You know, this this distance to Australia, I suppose it's a similar distance to, uh, yeah, it, it's nearer than actually than when the sighting we had in the UK. Right, our pal, my pal, our pal, is in uh, India. Okay, mate. So, you know, these come up, these programs come up with predictions. And they can only do an hour and a half at a time. Because that's how long the passes take. So, when it, when it reaches that yellow point, we'll get a new... We'll get a new trajectory, and uh, you know, I think it will come over America. And uh, in the meantime, I am going to look on Android to see if there's a an easy way of doing it. Right, it will continue on. Yes, it should do. So 
So I'm looking for Stellarium. £7.50? No, I don't think so. Should we go for the free one? Oh, XOG, he saw it live, brilliant. By the way, you're watching my live Android device here on the screen. I mean, all these apps would do it, they just need updating. They need updating with the current. Is it LCE files? LTE files? Right, so how do I do this? Search. Crew Dragon. So I think I had the best option. Because, you know, I need a map view, not... It's near to Ap Apus, but I don't know where the hell that is. Mr. Colin Lowe is in the house. We're just following the, uh, the crew, Dragon, SpaceX. And here it is here. And it's currently over, well, near to Australia. And we want to know what happens when it reaches this yellow line. So uh, let's see if any of my other Android apps have got access to it. What else have I got on here? You know, I paid for ISS detector. And I paid for extensions which show every object in the sky. But it needs updating, so... Um, Now there's two that are called Crew Dragon, so don't get mixed up with the other ones, the other one. See, that's the original one. That's the original one, Crew Dragon. So I'm just going to see if there's any Play Store updates. seeing if there are any updates so 
so well, I think we got the best one. You know, but in time this will settle down. They'll have more bandwidth. Anyway, I shall leave this on the screen for you guys to watch. Anyway, smash the like button. Smash the like button. It does make that's that's a, that does a lot of good. If you can hit the like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm that people like it. Anyway, I'm still monitoring the comments. I'm just having a drink here. Saturday night. I've just had a good idea. Let's play a bit of radio. I'll put my blue DV there. I'll put my Yesu 991A on. my waterfall on right so what should we go on DMR2353 you know if anyone wants to call in while we're doing this we might as well have a bit of radio in the background DMR. Just do an unlink four thousand. So if anyone's wondering, on the right we've got the, we've got the map, we've got the uh, Dragon Crew there, and it's just at the moment it is just off the coast of uh, Australia, Melbourne, Southern Australia. Uh, 
And I'm going to have a little play on the radio. Where should we go? 2353. Anyone listening on 2353, uh, 2353, this is Chris 2E0UKH. No one on 2353. Well, I don't know who they are, but they're on 2... Talk Group 91. Let's go and wind them up on Talk Group 3100. I'll sure give you a holler if I do. K6 BWS, this is AE9EE, and I'll be clear on your final. Hey, Mary Lee, this is K6 PWS. You have yourself a safe trip. Safe journey. Hope to talk to you again. And thanks for the communication. Have yourself a great day. 2E0 UKH listening on 3100. Yeah, can I just check my audio's okay? It's uh, 2E0UKH. Yeah, I'll copy Chris and say I'm in effect. You got you, Benjamin. You're a tiny bit broken, but... Um you're making it through on the system fine, you know, it's just, just internet. Yeah, okay, well that's a lot better. You don't need to alter anything and um, thank you for the report there. Let me know I'm working. Okay, well you're working well enough to have a conversation, you know, it's no problem at all. Anyway, have a nice day, uh, 732E0UKH. I mean, does anyone want to call in on 2353? You know, a lot of people are interested in the dragon. I can leave that on the screen. We can go to 2353. Peter Cochran, thank you for that very good channel. We're just having a bit of fun, you know. We it started out just being about the uh, dragon, but given the fact that people can't connect, can't 
access the page because there's a busy it's a very busy page I thought I'd leave it up for a bit I'm gonna go to 2353 and it would be very nice if your son called in and you could hear him don't know if Paul Cochran's able to join us on 2353 and say hello to your dad Yeah, KB4, um, sorry, um, KE4BFG, go ahead. Yeah, but I need to turn down my DJ, my Chris, uh, get an email, and, uh, I hope you're having a great week, my Chris, uh, two EZ, uh, UKHKE4BFG. Yeah, okay, yeah, I just had a message from my son who just said, are you awake? And I'm just going to say, yes, I'm actually live. He's, I don't think he's ever watched a live one. I'm just going to tell him I'm live streaming and it'll make him laugh. Um, so I'm just bringing it up on the screen. Your videos. Your videos. Well, that's, that's not very, that's good, lad. that's no lag. That's good. So I'm just sending my son a link. Be nice if he joined me on here in the comments. Yes, I'm live streaming on YouTube. Say hello in the comments, mate. Okay, so my son's just asked me if I'm awake. <laughs> yeah, okay, Roger. My son just asked me if I'm awake. He sent me a message and I said, yes, I'm... Uh, I'm live streaming on YouTube. It'd be nice if he said hello in the comments. That would be awesome. So, uh, anyway, I thought I was keyed up there, Roger. I was just saying, my son just messaged me and he said, am I awake? And I said, yes, I'm live streaming. So he might join us in the comments. That would be cool. Well, he can tell you himself. Look in the comments. My son's just commented there. Connor. Um, hey, by the way, Connor, are you hearing me okay in the live stream? I'll just show you the crazy setup. What we're doing, uh, Connor, we're just spacking, spacking. We're tracking this. Hold on a minute, Roger. We're just uh, tracking the the Dragon X. And this, is, this was my uh, setup, Connor. Connor, people are saying hello. Um... This is my setup. If you look on the screen now, you can see the setup we're using. I've moved a few bits about, so I'm just going to alter something. So I'm going to move that out the way. So uh, Connor saying good evening. So can you see me on the screen, Connor? I'm just this is quite unusual. I'm saying hello to my son on YouTube. Connor's working. He works at a big airport in the UK. Not actually in the airport, but behind the scenes. Um, what do you th is the video okay, Connor? So just having a bit of fun. I'm just showing my son what I'm up, what I'm up to, and um, I'm just going to put it back. Yes, all fine, good. So what we, we're talking to Roger in Tennessee. So uh, I'll just go back to Roger. Yeah, Roger in Tennessee. Go ahead. It's Chris two e zero U K H. Okay, Chris, I'm just kind of wondering what you're drinking. I, I'm not asking. Can you get uh, the beer called Blue Moon? It's called Blue Moon. Blue Moon is made by Coors. Uh, I don't know if you can get that over in the UK or not, but that's one of my favorite beers. Um, 
Yeah, Roger, yeah, I've not heard of that one. Not heard of that one. I'm not a beer drinker really. I like vodka. Um, that's what that's what my son there, Connor, always gets me for my birthday, a nice bottle of vodka. So uh, did you see Jason Johnson's stream? He's got a, a a beer channel, believe it or not. Jason Johnson, Ham Radio 2.0. Yeah, I did, and I seen you on there the other day. I believe it was yesterday or the day before. I keep, I keep keeping up with the live streams. There's so many of them, but I sure, I sure did, there, uh, Chris. But let me get back here on the side. I don't want to hog his butt. I just wanted to say good evening, my friend. It's a, it's always a pleasure. And hello to your son. Hey, you throw a bit of a key. I'll get back here on the side. Yeah, okay, Roger. By the way, to anyone that doesn't know, that's Roger Sluts in the comments. He always pops in, says hello. If anyone else would like to call in um, from all around the world, go ahead. I'm listening on 2353. Okay, I can go over to my echo link. Sort Andrew key up there. Yeah, go ahead, Andrew. Uh, KN4UYB in America. Go ahead, Andrew. No, mine mine connects first time every time. Um, but when it does work, would you say it sounds clear and perfect and get good reports, or would you say it's breaking up? Because the only thing I can think of, it's a bit off frequency, maybe. Jimbo's just had an FT8 contact into Cuba. Well, it seems to be uh, when it does connect, it seems to work fine. It's just that. Uh Particularly when I'm trying to query it, I know that when I'm trying to use that uh, the doctor 9998 to uh, get it to tell me what it's actually linked to, that in particular seems to be a real major problem. I always hit that thing four or five times and not a peep out of it. Over. Yeah, well, it's probably the Wi Fi connection. Um, just double check you got the prop, the Wi-Fi set up. Okay, well, yeah, thanks. That's, that's really helpful, and I'm really enjoying the stream tonight. I I have just woken up from a nap, and I happened to be walking around on YouTube, and I saw oh Chris is on, he's cracking the uh, dragon, so I thought I'd just drop it and watch for a while. Yeah, Roger on that. Well, very good. Thanks for joining us. Anyway, um, I'm sure there's other people that might want to call in. So I'll say 7-3. Thanks for joining us and, and your support. Um, so uh, thanks for joining in. Thank you, Chris. I really do appreciate the streams and I will be listening on the side. Are you still watching, Connor? Yeah, okay, uh, 2E0 UKH, listening for any any new calls on DMR. Okay, so we're having a lot of fun messing about, playing radio. Um... And I'm sharing my desktop with you guys, so what I'm going to... So 
So I'm just playing radio. I'm just going to cut if any. I'm going to uh, take calls on my Echo Link next. So when I go to Echo Link, I can see where I'm connected to, who's connected to me. I can see uh, W1FJF is connected to me. So we can do all this stuff live showing all the information on the screen so if anyone wants to call in I am live on my echo link 2e0 UKH stroke L if anyone is interested and um, I'm just going to uh, change the radio to the frequency of uh, my echo link so if anyone calls in on uh, echo link on um, 2e0 UKH stroke L 2e0 hi when will the rocket go by the UK or has it already yes it flew past at about 10 past 10 quarter past 10 but it will go past every day so you know this is just the first day you know, some of they're not always visible. They're not, you know, but you know, I'll do. You know, as we get more into it, I'll do more videos on um, how we can listen to it. Right. So I'm just going to take some calls on my Echo Link. I can see a few people watching. Um, see Roger on there. I can see. Um, Steve, I'll take it over to Steve, then Roger. So, um, I'm actually picking up the microphone and I'm going to call Steve. Yeah, G1, G7 IDD. Go ahead, it's Chris, 2E0 UKH. Yeah, Roger on that. Well, I'm always I'm always playing on the radio. You know, I'm, I was I'm going to be tracking all this uh, tracking all this stuff anyway, so I might as well um, might as well stream it live and have a bit of fun. You know, a lot of people can't connect to it, so uh, I'm sharing the location of it. You know, at the moment, it's over Australia, uh, Southern Australia, and we're all very curious to know what happens when it reaches this end of the yellow line. Back to you. I'm not sure this is 100% accurate because it's just gone backwards a bit. So I'm going to copy it. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Hertz, Hertz, Yeah, Roger on that. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to make it look nice on the screen. You know, I'm going to be doing it anyway. Might as well live stream it. Just read in the comments. Um, I missed the end of what you said. Now, a lot of people have been having trouble tracking it. If you go, not you, but if anyone goes to N2YO, the page is up now, and if anyone looking on the screen, John Baginis at the end of the line, it's going to meet up with MH370. So if you click on this red link, it takes you direct to the location of the dragon. That's, this is the main page that didn't come up earlier because it was too busy. So I'll leave this one up as well. 
and um, right so when it reaches the end of the yellow line it needs you need to open a new page and I've opened a new page and it's it's just approaching North America just approaching North America back to you Steve Mr. Henrik, hello. Yeah, well, I knew, I knew every, you know, everyone is posting about it. You know, we're all interested knowing where it is in the world. And, um, you know, we all watched the launch, but I didn't see any information on how to track it. You know, this is the easiest way, you know, just in the web browser. And, um, you know, it's amazing technology, what we can do. Um, it's just going over the Pacific Ocean at the moment and approaching North America. Is uh, in the comments? Is anyone watching in America? Is anyone on that path that can um, have a look for it? Yeah, okay, well actually I can see the dashboard up, I can see one new station, um, AJ4HT, so I'll take it over to him, thanks for calling in, you don't have to clear, uh, keep watching, and um, keep watching this crazy stream, thanks for calling in again Steve. Yeah, okay, Ray, yeah, we got your Alpha Juliet 4 Hotel Tango, got you in the list. Um, if you look on the screen on the live stream, thanks for calling in. Um, Darwin, West, I'm following it from the US, but I'm too far south. You know, a lot of people that follow ham radio are interested in the space station, so I've just got you on the uh, your AJ4HT. And... Uh, did you say where you are? I'm not familiar with AJ. Is that America? Oh, possibly. Go ahead. Yeah, okay, very good. Thank you for the comments. You know, I enjoy all this stuff. I'm just reading the comments. Um, Darwin is saying here I'm located in the south, a bit far away. Hertz Steed, it was like a plane, but faster and not flashing. Yes, they don't have a red light on it. It's just like a very bright white light that goes past. And it, you can tell it's a spacecraft because it's going, it goes a lot faster than a plane. And it's actually going at 17,000 miles an hour. Um, at the moment, um, it's at t it's 200 meters, no, 200 meters, 200 miles high. So it's not that high. And um, elevation minus 14. But uh, no, it's, it's very interesting. And it's, 
you know, if we can crack this on the first day, you know, we'll be able to do this any time. You know, the servers are, have got more bandwidth now. And, um, you know, all the initial interest, you know, people will forget about it soon and uh, we'll better enjoy tracking it. Back to you. So anyone new watching, put your name in the call, uh, call sign or name in the comments. Say hello. Yeah, okay, well I appreciate you calling in. And just to reiterate, it's going over um it's just starting to go over North America now. So uh, anyone watching, you know, go go outside is it dark there in America? I think it is, isn't it? Don't even know what time it is there. I mean that's a very good place. I can see on the screen it's not dark there, so that'll be difficult. But um all very interesting stuff, and thank you, so, thank you so much for the comments. I'm not sure, Jimbo. It won't be going on this pass, so it's that means it'll be at least two hours away. So I'm connected to. Yeah, okay, Roger. Yeah, thanks for that. I appreciate that. It's, no, it's um, Nate is saying it's 3.30 p.m. there. But, um, yeah, Hertz is right. It's going to go over Europe once more, Jimbo. Yeah, it's, it's about 90 minutes to go around the world. Nate saying it's very cloudy. So I'm just going to work out just going to work out where it's going over in Europe because if anyone's uh, following this in Europe looks like it could be Spain or Italy um, not, my geography is terrible I'm just going to bring it up on the screen uh, uh, back to you Yeah, okay, Roger, you're a huge fan, uh, fan of the channel. I appreciate you joining in, and I appreciate everyone joining in. Uh, there's about 50, 55 people at the moment watching. And, um, you know, the stream's over, really. We're just waffling. We're just having a play on the radio. But a lot of people can't see it on their uh, map, you know, on the uh, website. Um, Hertzstein, I saw two lights. First one was a probe, ISS, yeah. Yeah, the... Uh, the dragon is catching up with the ISS and it's gonna gonna dock with it. I'm not sure when. Anyway, seven three Roger. Thanks again, buddy. So uh, you know this is very interesting. Just going over America. No one's gonna see it in America. You can see it if it's sunny, you can see a reflection off of the ISS. Um, just wondering if my son is still watching. I was flattered. I was flattered. I can see a new station connected G0TVJ. So G0TVJ, go ahead. I can see you on the uh, node. This is Chris 2E0UKH. So is um, 
G Zero TVJ watching. G Zero TVJ, are you there? This is Chris in the UK, 2E0 UKH. Yeah, 90, mile, uh, 90 minutes to go fully around the world. Mr. Connor Andrews is still in the house. Big thumbs up. Thank you, my man. You know, just uh, just explaining to my son, because he, he's the first. I'm honoured he's joined me on the YouTube channel. Um, at the moment, I've got about 50 people watching. A lot of people are coming and going. People are at work. Um... Um, people calling in all around the world. We've had Australia, America, Europe, um, communicating with people all around the world, having a lot of fun playing radio. And um, like I said, at the moment there's about 50 odd people watching. And when I close the stream, <laughs> whenever I do, it's. Um, it looks more like five or six hundred you know connections so it's actually more people than it looks like uh, Nate is saying how many orbits will it make before reaching the ISS I don't know I don't know the uh, I don't know a lot about it Hilton what talk group are you monitoring on DMR okay we'll go back to talk group uh, 2353 uh, Nate and don't forget to smash that flipping like button guys um, I'm still on DMR 2353 if anyone wants to call in on 2353 go ahead so I've got blue DV on the top left 2E0 UKH listening on 2353 Turn the volume up No, it was Hilton keyed up, but there was no, he didn't speak Yeah, Papa Yankee 2 Bravo, Bravo, Quebec We'll just PY2 Barbecue, Hilton, are you there? I like that call sign Yankee Oscar, this is Papa Yankee 2, bravo, bravo, Quebec, Hilton from, from all of Brazil. Brazil, excellent. Sorry, let me turn off the sound, okay. And yeah, we are all uh, watching the videos. Uh, Adam Collins in the house, we have, can you have a truck on the full screen for a little while, love your channel. Yes. Really amazing, really amazing. And we, we're also getting track of the uh, of the test of the dragon that's now over North America. And yeah, congratulations for your great job. And 73 from from Paul of the Yeah, okay, Hilton, thank you for calling in from Brazil. Now, I'm looking on the screen. This is very interesting. Look, the, sp the Dragon rocket. I've lost my mouse. Where is it? Right, got it again. The Dragon rocket is catching up with the International Space Station. I think it's, it's going to dock. Look at this, this is so cool. I think it's going to dock with the space station. Are you watching this, Connor? This is awesome. It's going, it's over and Ontario, it's over Canada, Ontario, Canada. And um, it is trying to catch up with the space station, I think. So, uh, very interesting stuff. Anyway, back to you.
Ok, deixa eu ver com o Dio, eu primeiro com aquele hotel Dio I2 DDQ uh, returning. Uh, exactly, the information I had uh, from the launch time at D2, it could take about 19 hours uh, till Dragon would reach the ISS. Uh, is it the right information over? Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, it's about. It went up at eight thirty our time. Eight twenty-two, eight nine, eight nine, ten, eleven. It's three hours. So uh, it looks like it's getting that way, doesn't it? What I'm doing on the screen, I'm just trying to center it so I don't have to keep following it. So it's going. It's uh, just going over James Bay in Canada, and it will be heading over towards Newfoundland. But uh, no, it's all good stuff. We're all learning. You know, I've come on here. People have helped me out learning, telling me new ways to track it. Very interesting stuff. Back to you. Right. So just going through the comments now. Yes, it docks. It won't dock for another 17 oh, yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah. It, it will take uh, uh, at least 70, 17 hours, I think, uh, to the docking. There is no crossing, but in a very different altitude, different uh, orbit. So uh, it will take a few more uh, rounds, uh, orbit rounds, to, to reach the same altitude of the ISS. So, uh, I would thank you uh, for the clear time for putting me in the air and we will keep on uh, uh, tracking uh, the Dragon and uh, congratulations on your uh, YouTube page. 73 from PY2 DBQ to Echo Zero Uniform Kilo uh, Hotel. Thank you, my man. Yeah, okay, yeah, thank you for watching me in Brazil. Much appreciate that. I wasn't not worked Brazil before on HF, so that's a nice contact to make. And, you know, digital is a very good way to learn about call signs, you know, learn all the call signs. I'm just trying to post a new, um, an up to date link. Of the uh, of the uh, rocket, so I'm just copying it, copying the link address, and I'm going to post that in the comments so other people can see where the oh, it's posted it with a YouTube link. Anyway, I can figure this out. Don't worry. So uh, anyway, thanks for calling in. I'm just going to try and post an up-to-date link. Seventy-three is great job. Yep, seventy-three is. Uh, thanks for calling in. Two E zero UKH. Listening for any calls on DMR 2353. So, someone has just seen it um, X0G. Um, just You've got so many people in the comments, just excuse me. Whereabouts you are? Oh, oh, sorry, I'm. Uh, I'm looking at old comments, ignore that. If anyone would like to call in on... Yeah, Jimbo, sorry, but you asked about Dude Star. So much stuff going on, you need a DMR ID to work. Where is it now? Where is it now, please? It's... Hold on. It's got it on the screen. It's over... Newfoundland in USA.
So it's in Newfoundland, USA. It's just, it's just, a, by now it's um, just going over the Atlantic. So uh, could, could one of the moderators, a bit difficult for me this end, uh, Jimbo, could you post a new link to the uh, N2YO page where we're tracking the satellite, tracking the space? Uh, the rocket. If you could, could you please post that in the comments? Because I've got a nice view up on the screen and I can't. Newfoundland is in Canada. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know. I've never been there. <laughs> Thank you, Jimbo. Jimbo's put a link in the comments. That's where you guys can see it. You can see it using that link. Right, we're listening on 2353. Three. Anyone in the world, uh, come back to me. This is Chris 2E0UKH. Okay, so I'm on DMR 2353. Three. I can also do echo link. Henry Kenner, many thanks. Yeah, thank you for joining us, Henry. You know, we're just having a bit of fun. You know, I'm look. I've learnt since I did this last stream, this live stream. I've been learning how to do other ways to track it. You know, I haven't quite figured it out, but we're all learning. Um, and for the first time ever, my son is watching. So uh, I am super proud that he's joined us on the stream. He said. He texted me and said, are you awake? <laughs> and I said, yes, I'm busy. I'm on live on YouTube. And um, I said, join us in the comments. And he did. And that was a first for me. I mean, I've got plenty of time. Is, ev is everyone enjoying this? You know what I mean? Huge amount of people watching. 50 odd people at the moment. Hey Chris, is your son a ham? That's a good question. No, he's not. No, my son is not a ham. He, um, he works at an airport and he was interested in you know communication but he's not applied for his ham license just reading the comments hello everyone has just said get the blade no time left the solar one thank you for commenting nice to see you there i like the icon i do like that little red icon um of your your profile picture so no he's not a ham but um He's got an interest in what I'm doing. That's that's the main thing. So uh, the rocket is going to be going over Morocco next. Back to you, Roger. Okay, Chris. It's 6:48 here on the east coast of North America, and uh, it's uh, almost 7 p.m. It, it'll be about 9 p.m. before it gets dark here. But anyway, I'll get back here and listen. I noticed it was pretty quiet, and I thought I'd say hello again. You have a good, uh, have a good evening, my friend. And I'll say 73, and I'll get back here and listen. Maybe one of these days he can get his stitches. Uh, that would be great. I know you would be proud of him. 73. Yeah, you have been a key on the phone, my friend. Yeah, okay, Roger. Yeah, thank you for calling in. Always enjoy it when you come in. Could you just say that little line again, you know, on the intro about the genius? Could you just say that again for everyone? By the way, anyone new, Roger is one of my voice actors at the start. You know, the guy is a radio genius. Uh, just give us that one more time, but with the accent. The guy is a radio genius. 
and he don't have a whole lot to learn. He's already certified. Yeah, Roger, on that, thank you for doing that. You know, that is uh, a lot of people. A lot of people like that comment on the start. You know, it's just a bit of fun. Ham radio is very can be very dry and serious. So uh, anyway, thank you for calling in. Um, both both the spacecraft disappear for a minute. I was wondering what was going on. Anyway, thanks for calling in, and I'm just going to go back to people in the comments. So uh, anyone new, put your call sign in the comments, or just say hello. Seventy-three, Chris. Everybody have a good evening. It's always a pleasure, my friend. Can you find me a key? Yeah, KE4 BFG, thank you for calling in from Tennessee in the USA. Absolute pleasure, my friend. 73. 2E0 UK8, listening for any new calls. I'm also on my echo link, 2E0 UK8 stroke L. Is everyone able to track the uh, space station? Uh, so the, sorry, the uh, Dragon crew. Sorry, the uh, the SpaceX. Jimbo put a, a link. Casablanca. Yeah, nice place. Uh, KK4. RC. Greetings from Florida. Ah, oh, very interesting, Florida. So, so did you see the? Did you manage to see the launch? How far? I believe the launch site was Florida. So, um, did you manage to? I mean, first of all, how are, how far away are you from the launch site? Did you see it? Did you see the launch? Too cloudy, but didn't see the launch. But how far? I mean, did you hear it? How far away were you from the launch site? We've got George. George, there's it. George, greetings from Lisbon. Thank you for joining us in Lisbon. Okay, you had to resort to watching it on TV like the rest of us. No problem. The station in Lisbon, um, George. It's coming over. Could, Get, get outside and have a look. Look southwest. Look southwest. George, no need to come back to me. Go and have a look out the window. It's coming over Lisbon. You should see it. If you do it now, you should be okay. Yes, be quick. Don't put your shoes, you know. Look, it's coming over your house, mate. Don't put your shoes on. <laughs> Too cloudy. Okay. What a crazy live stream. I must say I had a totally wonderful live stream yesterday. I had loads of super chats. Um, loads of people calling in. And I nearly didn't do this one tonight because... Yeah, I'm certainly not a, not an expert on this, but I spent all evening researching it, how to do, you know how to track it, and of course you can't track it until it's actually in the air. So until it went up, I didn't really know any way to track it properly. Right, you're 130 foot more, 134 miles from the launch site. That makes sense. So it's just going over Safi and Marrakesh. 
where Darren Brown did that um, trick where someone woke up in Marrakesh and it's, it's near to Morocco and it's heading for Algeria Guatem I can't say that Guatazate so isn't this amazing technology is it going over the UK anytime soon well it went over twice today but one time it was uh, sun you know it was date it was, it was the sun was still out and the second time it went over the southern coast so uh, you know, I mean, if it, is anyone in super in? I can I can do more videos on this, how to track it. I can look into it and research it. Henrik, I think the footprint on the map will show where the spacecraft can be seen. It will show where they can be seen. Yes. But it won't tell you where it will be tomorrow. You know, that's something else. And, uh, you know, that's why I can't tell someone when the next sighting will be. But uh, this, this map here is map view is good, but it's a bit too close. You can't really see it. You need some C. You need to see where it is in relation to the coast and the islands Camel just Re Rebecca just missed it but to bring you to the moon Camille Camilla whereabouts are you Camilla Right, Ireland. Ireland, interesting. I mean, you know, I, I've been looking online at the live streams and they're all streaming the same stuff. They're all streaming, you know, the NASA video, which is nice, but for us super geeks, yeah, next to UK. Someone is in France. I saw it faint, point roughly on the same trajectory is the ISS that's right maybe it is catching up maybe a little bit higher in the sky and faster than the ISS if you look on the screen you can see two lines the yellow line is the is the crew rocket and the orange line is the ISS So, um, yeah you're not sure yeah we're, we're never sure you know but if we do these you know if we do this tracking regularly you know I mean I've I must have seen the space station about 200 times and I must have heard them talking 20 times and they always come up in the same trajectory they come in the UK they come up in the West and you know where to look so this is day one so if people are seeing it on day one you know this is cool so I'm just going to post another link keep it uh, I can't post a look if some if someone can post a link where we can find I mean I know where it is but if I paste it in it comes up with a stupid YouTube link look if I paste it in it comes up with that link and that's not going to work I don't think so 
So um, I think a lot of people are, you know, gone to bed and they're not tracking it as much now. So let me just let me just get a current link. N2YO. You know, this is how you do it. You go to N2YO. Like I said on my Facebook page, the pictures from the launch space are better than, yeah, better than conferencing calls. You know, this should it should be working now. You know, if if all you guys want to track it yourself, you just go to this site, n2yo.com, and click on this red thing. And it should show up on a map. First of all, the trajectory comes in. Okay, it's midnight from you. For you. Well done, thanks. Yeah, so it's going over Africa. Yeah, it's settled down now. People have lost interest and they're watching they're watching TV again, you know. The hype has died down a bit, but us super geeks, we can enjoy this. So you just click on this red link. You go to n2yo.com and click on this one red link. And if you want a large map, you click on that. And if you want to zoom in, Henrik, interesting video in the Facebook group about the contact to the ISS. Yes, I interviewed that guy. He's very hu very humble, isn't he? You know, very non-assuming. You know, just going over Nigeria at the moment. Yeah, Netflix and Toei, yeah. yeah. Anyway, if anyone is still watching this crazy live stream, just say hello, put your call sign in the comments. If you don't have a call sign, just put just put hello there, tell me what country you're watching from. You know, this channel seems to be quite popular in America. And the UK and into Europe. Yep, 35 people watching. I mean, you know, the main meat of the show. Smash that flipping like button. Jimbo knows what he's on about. How many likes have I got at the moment? Mr. John Palaska. Palaska? Florida, USA. John, did you see the launch? Are you near to the launch site? Earl is watching from Antigo in the Caribbean. Wow, that sounds nice. Very nice. Yeah, well, Jimbo, we can do this. We can do this meet up any time, anyway, because. Uh, we can. Oh, I see what you're saying. A meet up with um, other people from the group. I think it would just be me and you. But we can do a meet up. I'm in Northamptonshire. We can meet at meet at Kettering Wigstead Park. Right, John. He's yes. I'm an hour away from NASA. I mean, if you're not, if it's not going your direction, an hour away. You know, that's a good sixty. If you were going 60 miles an hour, that's 60 miles away. Blimey, Jimbo will bring the alcohol and food. I think that will get our numbers up a bit. But uh, what a crazy live stream and a lot of people interested. You know, this is a Radio Ham channel. By the way, I'm still on DMR2353. If anyone would like to call in, you're welcome. And it's just going over the Congo.
Now, once it's left this continent, it will be going over maybe three, yes, maybe three. Yeah, well, that's right. There'll be plenty of drink to go around. Yeah, DMR ID takes a while to come back. That's why you're uh, Dude Star didn't work. What altitude or distance from the surface are they? A two hundred miles up, two hundred and one miles up. Anyway, I'm just going to take a short break. I'll leave this on the screen for you guys to see. I don't expect anyone to be here when I come back. But uh, it's quite high up, but the space station is about 250 miles up. And that is visible, so a quarter less, you know, that's... That makes it quite visible, although it is a smaller craft, so in reality it'll probably be very similar. Anyway, I'm just going to go and get um, some refreshments and um, I'll leave Jimbo in charge of the, charge of the chat. And uh, when it's left this continent, when it's left Africa, it will be next over uh, Australia. Mr. Fred Romeo is back. Mr. Fred Romeo is back in the house. Yeah, go ahead, Roger. It's uh, Chris 2E0 UKH. Give it a long over because I'm just in the other room. Yeah, I'm just trying to free it wrong, yeah, one of the three is the fire. And uh told him to get on and you had a live stream, so uh anyway, this guy's free and told him to get on there. Uh, that was that was it, our Chris. I'll get back on the side. You have a good weekend, my friend. Can you forward this Right, I'm just back on the mic. Yeah, okay, Roger, thank you for joining in. Mr. Fred Romeo's back in the house. Um, just to explain what's going on, the the crew is called the Crew Dragon. The new SpaceX spacecraft is going over Africa, uh, Zimbabwe, and it will be going. Next place it will be going over is um, Australia. Fred Romeo saying hello to Roger. Anyway, I'm key. Thanks for calling in, buddy. So, um, what was I going to say? Um, you know, I'm in no rush to end the stream. There's quite a lot of people still watching. 40 odd people still watching. It's just refreshing. And, um, oh, that's right, Fred. Is the link working now? NY20. 
NY n2yo.com is the uh, servers settle down a bit um, Fred why is it not a straight line because the, the earth is round and the map is straight so it's to do with the curvature If someone that can explain that better. It's because the earth isn't flat. Yeah, don't start us off on that one. Anyway. I'm just going to go in the other room. Um, I'll leave uh, Fred, Romeo and Jimbo with the comments. And um, I will take some calls on 2353 if anyone's listening still. And um, back in one minute. Okay, so I'm back in the uh, back in the chair. Just forgot my cigarette. Oh. So, what a crazy idea for a live stream! Thirty-one watching and no comments. Well, there's lots of comments, but I think everyone's commented. Camel everybody snacking yeah well that's where I was I was going in the I was in the other room I was just getting my supper and um, if I'm eating that I'll pause the microphone but mr. Fred Romeo what do you think to this crazy setup we've got going here Simon Mitchell, hope you're good. Yeah, doing okay. Thanks, Mr. Fred Romeo. He loves it. He knows his stuff. Simon Mitchell's in the house. Jimbo saying hello. So, is this page working now for everyone else? I'm still on two three five three. I've also got my Echo Link connected. It's uh, 2E0UKHDROL. Right, so I think I'm going to have to leave this stream going while I go to bed. Because uh, I don't know why, but everyone's still watching. And um, 
It's been very interesting actually. A lot of people have seen it. You know, I saw it. I managed to see it. Did anyone see it on camera when I pointed the camera? Uh, when I went and looked out the window? Did anyone manage to see it through my camera? Because I thought I saw it. Okay, so Camel is saying goodbye. Thank you for joining us, mate. Mr. Steve Kibble didn't think to look outside. Don't worry. I think it's up for 120 days, so... Uh, I think we'll all see it. Yep, Jimbo's after another FT8 contact into the USA. USA. If anyone does uh, FT8, look out for Jimbo. Put your call sign in there. Arrange your contact. Okay, so it's flying at the moment. Just left, just left Africa, and it will be going over Australia area. But this dark line indicates where it's in darkness. So when it does go over Australia, ah, oh, Fred Romy, have just got your power supply? Have you got it working? Did you put the screws in, if you know what I mean? Excuse me, I'm just lining something up. I 
five. Just got it today at work. Haven't taken it out of the box. Okay. Steve Kibble, what's the land mass in the south that's passing soon? Well, I have no idea. Let's have a zoom in. Tiny little island, isn't it? Now on my current setup it won't show me if I hover over it. Yeah, it won't show me. So anyone new watching this, you can track it yourself. You go to n2yo.com and you just click on this red link. And because there's not so many people tracking it, or because they've improved bandwidth, it's now working nicely. So anyone can do this. And... I try and answer every question. I mean, I don't, I don't know what that island is. Port, Port Aux Francis. Loads of interesting little islands there. I mean, imagine being stuck out in that place. What is it? Time for bed, said Zebedee. Okay, 7-3. Thank you, Jimbo, for joining us. Steve Kibble's got me curious now. I don't know what this place is. Let's have a look on Google, Google Maps. No, it's not that one. It left Africa. It went over Zim... No, where was it that it went over? Sort of come down in this sort of angle. Not sure if it was the McDonald's Islands. <laughs> no. You know, looking into this stuff, you know, it teaches you a lot about geography. A bit like ham radio, you know, you look up cool signs where people are. Bet there's still a McDonald's there, yeah. Absolutely. I can't believe anyone's still watching this. Check F Fuji Islands. Very interesting. So the yellow line is the uh, SpaceX and the orange line is the space station. Right, this is interesting. The Dragon crew 
spacecraft, it's overtaken the ISS. Before it was tailing it. So, uh, I think they're having a race. And uh, someone said in the con comments it's going to dock in 17 hours. So, uh, that's given me another idea idea for a video. <laughs> anyway, smash the like button. You know, this is take a lot of setting up. You know, this is a giant, tiny channel, and hitting the like button and subscribing, you know, is the main thing you can do to help out. It looks close when looking at the lines, yeah. Well, I bet it's 100 miles apart, 50 or 100 miles apart. I mean, you zoom in, you zoom in like this, and wonder how far they are. Now, the space station is about 250 miles up. This is 201 miles up the uh, the SpaceX rocket. Probably 500, yeah. Mr. Roger Slutz is still there. Yeah, they've stopped by for the uh, McDonald's. That's good thinking, Batman. Right, so I was just in the other room. I was just in the other room, just getting my snack ready. Uh, just looking at the comments, uh, they are going to use the drive through at McDonald's. It needs to go around a few more times until it's perfect, yeah. Exactly. They are just aligning. their trajectory very interesting how they do this I can't believe anyone is still watching Now we, we now it goes around the Earth every 90 minutes, and I reached the end of the yellow line already once already. So that means this has been a three-hour stream. Unbelievable. When it rip, just so you know, when it reaches the end of this line, you know, follow the, the curve round. We love you, man. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Go on, hit me with the next comment. Um, you're not going to get me this time. When it hits that end of that yellow line, you've got to refresh the page, and you can't carry on viewing on the same link.
We love you, man, but not a lot. That's what I was waiting for. Mr. Fred Romeo. Oh. I'm ready for you to hit me with it. We love you, man, but not a lot. I don't know where I met that Fred Romeo. I don't know how I met him. But I like him. Not a lot. It's like watching paint dry. Two hours thirty seven the live stream has been. If you think about the rotation, yeah. Anyway, is anyone new watching this dribble? You know, anyone else new watching the stream? Not much going on in the comments. Smash that like button. Half past midnight here. I've been streaming for three hours. Nearly. So anyone new watching, put your uh, call sign in there or just say hello or something. And I'm just going to give you an up-to-date link on the uh, website. <coughs> Excuse me. going to delete that. It comes from the YouTube link that didn't. Mr. Roger Schlutz being up Scotty. Right, let's put a link to this link I'm going to show you now. Is yeah, so you guys can see the space station and the uh, and the crew dragon. Just putting it in the comments. I've been streaming for so long, my camera's going dead. The battery symbol's coming up. I'm just going to swipe down uh, and make the brightness lower. Anyway, I highly appreciate all you watching. You know, this is just a bit of fun. I was trying to work this out earlier how to stream the um, I was going to do the launch but I didn't think you want to hear my uneducated commentary on the uh, launch so uh, I thought more people would be interested to know how how to track it and if you follow that if you click on that link above um, you can track it using that So I'm just reading the comments, I'm just going to have some food and um, I can get back to people in the comments. Any questions? What was going on?
Right, Steve Kibble, time to crash for me, Chris. Have a good night. Okay, my friend, thank you for joining us towards the end. Do appreciate that. By the way, Fred, you missed it in the comments. My son texted me and he said, Are you awake? And I said, Yes, I'm live on YouTube, actually. And my son, the one who works at the airport, he joined us in the... Uh, in the comments he joined me for the first time ever so I was very uh, flattered Mr. JSS is in the house thank you for joining us he's still here there's my son there Connor Andrews I can't believe he's I can't believe he's still watching this boring stream Fred, say hello to my son there. That's my son that works at the airport, Connor. Yeah, crossing the Fuji Islands soon. Um, not sure if you missed it. That's my son, Fred. Uh, Connor Andrews in the comments. Uh, say hello to him in the comments. He's not a ham. You know, tell him what we like about ham radio. Anyone. You know, t tell him what the attraction is. Anyway, I'm just going to ring. My, I'm just going to ring Connor. Going to give him a ring. I'm going to mute my microphone. Don't worry, Connor. It won't be live on YouTube. So I'm going to mute my audio, and uh, I'm going to give him a quick ring. So uh, Fred saying hello to Connor. Will it be visible the ISS app? Never. I'm not sure about the app, just follow the link, look look up about 10 messages. Look up, look up about 10 messages. Anyway, I'm going to mute the audio and I'll give Connor a ring and uh, see what he thinks to what's uh, going on. You know, we're winding the stream down. People like to look at the map. And I'll be back in about 2 or 3 minutes, just going to give him a quick ring. And I'm muting the microphone.
Right, so I've just had my phone call with my son there. He was very impressed what's going on. And um, I'm just looking in the house, looking at the comments. Fred Romeo, he's um, put a palm tree up. I'm not sure if he's getting drunk or he's on holiday. Uh, Roger Schlutz is in the house. He's put a message up. I'm going to allow that. Jason, is it Jason? JSS67-2006. Too far north. Excuse me. Too far north for me. Fred Romeo. He's all eyes. But uh, I can see Connor Andrews there. He's got his shades on. He's looking cool. And uh, I'm very impressed that he knows what I'm doing. You know, I, I'm sure he. I'm sure he secretly watches what I'm doing. You know, but. You know, he, 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 he's seen all the comments. Uh, Frankie is there, uh, 73. He's saying, no, that's his call sign, 73 Frankie M6 VMO. Uh, Fred Romeo, he's got his mask on. I think palm tree for the Fiji or the guana from Fred. Ha ha. Um, shout out to my daughter, Indy. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Someone has got their do someone's daughter. Do they've told their daughter they're watching as well. So big shout out to uh, Indy. So that's from K, K I V I. K I V I. Shout out to my daughter Indy. So uh, thank you both to you for watching. Um, Francis Murray, where is the link? Okay, so I, I'm just going to put it in the comments. I've got an up-to-date link. If you follow this link, you can see the space station and the dragon. Look in the comments. Connor, look in the comments. I'm just pasting this in now. Right, so I'm just clicking paste. That's going in now. So this is the link. It's N2YO. And this is an actual... Mr. Roger Schlutz is saying hello to Connor. Um, I'm not on camera. I've, I'm just sharing my desktop, just letting my son know. Um, I have actually got my son on uh, on a photo, on a video call. Do you want to say hello on the camera? You don't have to. If you don't, no one knows you. It doesn't matter. I'll just um, turn the volume up. You can say hello if you want. I'm not bothered. Just say hi, hi everybody. Hi. Just say hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Yeah, can you hear Connor? I've got him on the phone doing a video call. For Mr. Fred Romeo is in the house. He's laughing. So uh, I've got my son on WhatsApp on video. And um, Fred Romeo is saying hello. But, um, you know, this was just a crazy idea. Go live. I'm going to be tracking it. Uh, people are hearing you, hearing the audio. And um, I'm just honoured that my son actually is joining in. He's at work. He's working from home. Um, in the UK, a lot of us are working from home at the moment. And um, he works at the airport. And luckily, he can work from home. I can see he's on his laptop at the moment. Uh, JSS72006 is saying hello. So uh, smash, smash the like button, smash the like button, and um, you know that's a very good way you you guys can support the channel. You know it's free; to, it doesn't cost anything to watch. It's free to watch. You know all I ask is people smash the like button and smash it to pieces. Right, so I'm just going to go back to my. Um, my phone conversation. I'm just muting the audio and um, I'll just say goodbye to my son, so stay there.
Okay, so I'm back in the house, you know, I'm showing you guys the, uh, oh, it's gone off the screen. Like I said, you have to uh, refresh the page. So I'm going to refresh the page. One view of the page only lasts for an hour and a half, and then once it's done a cycle, once it's done a cycle, it, uh, you know, at 90 minutes, you need to refresh the page. So going to make it a larger map so uh, is anyone still there just looking at the uh, YouTube I'm now looking at the YouTube comments and I've been going for three hours goodness me three hours of hard work <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure totally enjoyed it um, just looking at all the comments uh, people are posting pictures of drinks and things I, th I don't think anyone's paying attention to this video they're just having a, a party anyway put your seven threes in the comments I think it's time we ended it uh, JSS is still there still hurry sorry came in late that's okay put your seven threes in the comments guys I'll leave it on another for another five or ten minutes if anyone's interested in watching this and uh, thank you so much for joining me you know this was a a random idea but it, it's turned out to be super super popular you know the whole world is watching this uh, launch mr connor andrews he's saying seven three look he's picking up the lingo that means goodbye seven three means goodbye i'm very impressed uh, roger slutz what do you think to that henrik OZ Station 73 and good night. KM K8 MRD radio stuff. Hi everyone. Yeah, hi there. This is a three hour I'm on three hours now, and I'm afraid we're just ending, but it will be up for you to watch later. Thank you for joining us. Um, a little late to the party that's okay we've had our drinks you know <laughs> we're ready to go home but uh, it doesn't matter because you know you put stuff on YouTube you you know you can watch it later but basically we're tracking the uh, the dragon the spec uh, the crew dragon it's called which is SpaceX dragon and I'm just gonna put the link in the comments if that link I had from earlier is yeah that link will let you see on screen the SpaceX rocket you know the commercial uh, spacecraft and um, it will also show the space station on the screen so you can see it catching up I mean looking on the map now actually they're a lot quite a long way away now from each other Uh, where are we? So the ISS is over the Pacific Ocean. Mr. Eddie Essex is saying 73. Roger Schlutz is saying good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. You've been great. Um, this is Chris 2E0 UKH going clear. But I'll, I'll leave the video on for another 5 10 minutes if anyone's interested. 73 guys, thanks for joining. And uh, seven three to my son Connor. And uh, another shout out for Indy. Your daughter, uh, your daughter Indy, was um, watching. So appreciate that, Mr. Connor Andrews. By all, yeah, he's saying goodbye. So uh, seven three two E zero U K H going clear. Cheers.
It's a, it's a equal or be able to key. And if you're with some bread, Romeo, it's not you too. Yeah, you four are be able to key. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, seven three, uh, Roger. You know, I just look it I was just looking, I thought Why is anyone still watching? There's twenty six people watching. It's amazing. It's, that's more than when I said I'm going. Unbelievable. But uh thank you so much for joining in. Uh to everyone in the comments. Uh, you know, I just wanted to say it's amazing. I said I'm going and then and there's another Ten people joined. Uh, Frank is saying, even Chris has gone quiet now. Well, don't speak too soon. Uh, 2E0 UKH Radio Big Mouth has not has come back. But uh, would, ev would everyone please stop watching because, you know, it's, it's time to go. I'm not going to, I'm not going to click stop until there's ten people watching. So, uh, Anyway, appreciate the comments, uh, Roger. This is uh, 2E0 UKH. Back to you. Yes, sir. You have a good uh, have a good evening and try to get you some rest. I hope, uh, I hope you sleep by half a day tomorrow because you need to get some rest. 73, mate. Here you go. Cheers and beers and all that good stuff. Okay, you four Yeah, Mr. Roger Schlutz, 73, thank you for joining us. Just reading the comments. We've got J.A. just listening in Kalamanzoo, Michigan, USA. Thank you for joining us. We're just winding the stream down, but uh, no one wants to leave. You know, I'm not tired. I just don't want it to go on and be a bit boring, you know. I'm, th you know, I've got nothing else to do. <coughs> well, I'm just, um, I've just had my supper and I'm just having a few drinks. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, seven three, Roger. I'm listening on two three five three. If anyone wants to call in, are you still watching, Connor? Surely not. Goodness me, Connor! Still, look, Connor! Stop watching. It's over. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants to uh, leave the live stream. My cameras are going dead. I've got four percent battery left on my camera. Hold on a minute. Let me just put it on charge. So. Could everyone do me a favour and um, stop watching because um, I'm not going to turn it off until I'm down to 10 people watching. So, uh, you know, we're tracking the space station. I hope, you know, we're just having a bit of fun. I hope you found it interesting to start with. Um, but, uh, I hope it's not like watching paint dry. Hold on a minute. Just plugging another charger in. And uh, can you see on the screen the space uh, the uh, SpaceX rocket? Just going to zoom in a bit. It's just going over Bulgaria and Turkey. Uh, put it in the comments if you can still see it. Ding dong, please, ladies and yes. Last drinks, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Fred is in the house. Yeah, W1FJF, go ahead. Uh, this is Chris, 2E0 UKH. There's something wrong with my stream tonight. Nobody wants to leave. Uh, back to you. Yeah, yours to come down to 15, now it's up to 21 again. Yep, exactly. As soon as I thought, you know, it was time to go to bed, um, 
another six people have joined us so it's, it's amazing it's amazing the interest in um, you know in the hobby and um, people just love ham radio they just love technology you know tracking space station or the dragon and um, you know this is a very it's just going over Greece now Right, I don't understand this. Look on, look on the screen. It's going backwards. It's coming back now. How can it be coming back the other way? Look, it's coming back from right to left now. What do you think to that? Henrik, always fun to learn something new. on the other side well I've never seen that I've never seen the space station come back I'm really <laughs> I'm really not sure what's going on but uh, very interesting all the same back to you Yeah, well, I'll take your word for it, but I think I think those astronauts on there, I think they're having a party as well, and they've gone, they're going the wrong way, Fred. Uh, back to you. Okay, so at SpaceX, it says they're over America. And all the water is at the top of the Earth. When you look at the way it rotates on its axis. On SpaceX, it says it's over and America. The tide changes. It becomes high tide when the water is all on the bottom of the Earth. And when the water is all up at the top of the Earth, it becomes low tide and high tide. So what happens is, if you look at the way the Earth is rotating, and it looks like it's traveling from right to left, when it gets on the other side, it's going to be going the other way. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm just thinking, you know, you know in Back to the Future when, in Back to the Future when uh, Doc is doing this, you know, the experiments and he comes back and he wakes up that drunk bloke and he looks at his uh, bottle of whiskey. You know, it, it makes me think, you know, I'm looking at my drink and thinking I'm not having any more of that. Hold on a minute, I'm just... If you look on the screen, I'm just bringing it down. Someone said in the comments something very interesting. They said on SpaceX it says it's going over America. And they're right, I've just brought it up. So... Uh, it wasn't going backwards. It was either my drink or my user error, you know. Or you know, it's only approximate, isn't it? But uh, in fact, it's just going over North America. So uh, one of these days, it will go over your QTH. Tennessee, so we would need to be somewhere. Uh, we would, I would probably be able to see it if it was 
I think the grand, uh, in the uh, in the uh, great uh, the Great Lakes area, warrant, and that way it does the track it when it come up over the uh, eastern part. But yeah, so the way the Earth rotates can change everything. That's why it looks like it's going around, but it's really not going around. It's going straight, but the Earth is rotating, which makes it. Like yeah, thank you, Munruk. At SpaceX, it says it's almost above America. You're right. It's still traveling straight until it gets to a, it, it needs to get really close. They don't want to waste any, any, uh, any, uh, they don't want to, they just shift slowly. It's, uh, it's good. The engineering is uh, unbelievable. But I used to do a, I used to track satellites back in 1978. And uh, 79, Oscar 6 and Oscar 7. And I tracked them every day. It was all on uh, scales. It wasn't like anything like this. They didn't have software like that. Yeah, well, I always remember you telling me about the uh, satellite. You know, you're a satellite tracking expert. You've got a a certificate for doing it for years and years didn't you you've had your ham license for years but uh, I'm just bringing it up on the car I've been on here three hours 15 this is the longest ever stream and I've lost my mouse again I'm just gonna see how many people are watching still if I refresh it I can see the live stream is my son still watching this is getting very late for you Right, is Connor still watching? And just move it to the left and all. 18 people, right, so... Uh, we are going down. My son is still watching, by the way, he's working from home. Um, you know, nowadays people can work from home on a laptop. You know, that's fantastic. Back to you, Fred. I just saw it check in, but I'm still here. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, 18 still here. This is my, uh, this is my computer says 18, 17 is what 18. Yeah, uh, so 43 years so I've been an amateur radio operator. Amazing. My license was in 1976, and in 77, 78, 79, I did a lot of satellite work with Oscar. It's an orbiting satellite carrying amateur radio, Oscar. Oscar 6 and Oscar 7. Back at point, that's what it is. And I did it for years. But that was all, that was all tracking. It was, they gave you the geometry and they told you where it was coming and then you had a, a scale and you would plot it. And that's what I would do. I would, I would plot it and I would track them. And I had a lot, I had a lot of, I, I couldn't get it. I, I loved it. It was one of my favorite things. And I operated on the back of my pickup truck. And I, my abs was my hands and my elevation was an elevation. And I had the two meters of four, 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 400. And then I would listen uh, to, to it. And I could hear my own voice come out. And uh, I'd, I'd operate portable Vermont. And when I operated portable Vermont satellite, there was people in there calling me left and right because nobody operated in Vermont. Nobody. You could never hear anybody from Vermont. So I'd go to my mother's on the weekends and, and go set up my stuff. It was all, and I used gas generators and stuff like that. Anyway, back to you. Give me zero, you get it. Let me go on a cab. I play it real quick. Yeah. Yeah, I used to do a lot of satellite work. I had a kid, a kid, a kid with TS-2000, and I used to do a lot of satellites back in the 80s. I used to have a big C-band satellite dish, and you had to take a arm and turn it manually, and I got a ro rotator for it. I remember for two years, I could get the Playboy channel, I could get HBO, I could get everything free before they start a scrambling there on the big satellite two band did. You guys have a good night. I'm, I'm out of here. 73, K4, different key.
You take care. You take care of uh, Roger. Yeah, I did, I did that joke. Yeah. I asked her. Uh, yeah, that was one of the first actors for her. Uh, Yeah, okay, yeah, Fred's saying 7-3 there. We'll say 7-3 to Roger. And um, we've still got 18 people watching. I mean, I don't know who watches this dribble. Anyway, thank you so much for joining. Um, I'll leave this thing on the screen. And um, we will say 7-3. We're going up to three, hour, three and a half hours, Fred. What do you think to that? Blimey. Anyway, I think Fred has left the... I think it's fantastic. Yeah, well, it just... Here. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Roger, on that, Fred, um, I've just altered the display to make it look a bit more interesting. Um, no, it's fantastic. You're right, you know, that people are interested in this stuff. You know, this isn't necessarily ham radio op uh, ham radio related, but a lot of people that do ham radio are interested in the space station, viewing it, making contacts, APRS packet, all this sort of stuff. And um, you know, this is very interesting, and um, people are very interested to know how to track it. You know, this new one, and um, hopefully. Um, it's helped a few people out so that they can track it themselves. You know, now the mad rush is gone. Well, you know, if you have the right cameras and you can track it, you could probably be in there and, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, you're going to shut on that. But if you if, if you track it and you get to these you know the um, uh, the zoom uh, the cameras you could probably get some shots at night and uh, zoom right in and if you could track it you might be able to get some pictures of it. Yeah, well, as you know, I've got the Nikon P nine hundred and you've got the P one thousand. That's a very good point. Um. I am looking it. I'm am looking looking into upgrading my Nikon P900 because it's it's a very small sensor and it's not very good at low light. The uh, Nikon P1000 that you've got, I've seen photos or videos of the space station. You know, people have done it on the uh, Nikon P1000. Incredible. You know, you can see the rings. That you see the ring on Saturn. Yes, if you could actually get your camera set up and you could get it, so if you could, you could track it, you, you, there's not a lot of time because it's moving quite fast. But if you could get your camera set up where you could watch it coming and get your camera and play it coming from the left to right or right to left and get your camera set up and then you could see it, You're, you are definitely going to see 200, 200 miles. It, it's going to light up, it's going to be a Shining, and it's going to be moving quite fast. It is just just like a, a satellite. It's not geosync, so it's going to be traveling around and, and moving. And if you could get your camera, though the P one thousand, if you could zoom in, the problem is is when you zoom in, 
there's not a lot of length, so you can just fly right by it and you miss it. It would be very difficult and hard to do, but it sure would be a challenge. I'm not too old for that now. If I was 35 or 40 years old, I'd be out there watching every every thing that I could possibly do to see if I can catch one photo. Yeah, okay. Well, if you're watching the uh, screen, if you're watching the screen, I'll just key up. That might help. If you watch, look at this. Look at the uh, YouTube stream, and I'm playing some on my desktop, live on YouTube, and people have had. They've got photos and videos of the space station. Look at that. Can you see that the space station? going past the moon that's a moon that's a moon transit with the camera you've got look on the screen that is the international space station going past the moon that's a moon transit how amazing is that Exactly what I'm talking about, and it, it, you have to be. You, it's a lot of work, and you have to catch it just at the right time. But that is that the B1000? That's the B1000 across the room. Now we have the right strength. That's fantastic. Yeah, stand by. I'm just in another QSO. Absolutely fantastic. That's what I'm talking about, and you really have to be ambitious. Like when I was in the 1970s, in the 1970s, I was just six and I was just killing, I did that. I had to track these satellites, and I did every pass that I could. I tracked them, and if I could get on there, I would be on them. And if I had the ambition that I would today, I'd have my, my cameras out, and I'd be watching every single pass to see if I could catch one just like that, because that, is a lifetime catch. That was fantastic. Is that on YouTube? Somebody got that? That was beautiful. Yeah, Roger on that. Yeah, it's on YouTube. This is another one. I'm just showing another one. This is uh, someone getting some f video, some video of the space station, you know, with a commercial grade camera, you know, just a camera that anyone can pick up in a shop this is a Nikon P1000 this is the one you've got and um, I, they must have it on a tripod but um, you know you can do stars stars planets everything I'm just forwarding this video a bit this is someone zooming in on the moon you know You know, I've got the Nikon P900. This is the first thing you try. Look at this. Look at this. Saturn. Someone has got Saturn. Unbelievable. You know, consumer grade technology is just, just a camera you can pick up in a shop. Anyway, I'll say 7.3. We're on uh, three and a half hours. It's gone long overdue. 7.3. Thank you so much for your support, as always. Take care, Chris. Yeah, I'm getting ready. I'm ready to crash. You think I can't believe you're still up this late? Three zero UKH. This is W one F three F. I'm clear, and I'm going to be closing up. Uh, so when I shut down, it's going to be sixteen. Okay, seven three, and uh, thanks for joining in. Uh, Two E zero UKH. Just pull in the plug, and um, put your seven threes in the comments again. We'll do it a second time because. Uh, no one wants to leave, and I can see why. This is an interesting subject. 7-3, uh, 2 0 UKH, going clear. Okay, so I've shut down DMR, just looking at my desktop. And um, put your...
put your seven threes in the comments. Seven three comment, uh, Connor. Speak to you soon. Mr. Henrik is saying seven three. Thank you, Henrik, for watching. <laughs>